Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figma tutorial video. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can set up swipe interactions or drag interactions in Figma. So as you can see on the screen right now, we have a demo file. So let's see, first we have the refresh animation. So here you can see that I can pull and then I can also let go. And if I completely pull it, then it will refresh and it will fetch a new email from the server. And then we can also swipe from the left hand side to the right hand side to we can either favorite it clicking over here or we can cancel and the action gets cancelled. Or we can simply add a favorite mark over here. The same way we can also have the delete interaction so we can either cancel. If we delete it, then the email gets deleted. So without any further ado, let's take a look how we can get this done. Hello everyone, I'm Fahim Kamal, UI UX designer for Essential Web Apps. We regularly upload videos on WordPress, Figma, website and social media strategies, and web design and development topics. If you find your videos to be helpful and informative, then please consider subscribing to our channel and hit bell icon for new video notifications. If you like this video, please hit the like icon and the share button. We also have both free and paid courses on Figma as well as some other courses that are free, so please check the description box for the links of the courses. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we have our demo file and here we also have the practice resources. So we will provide all these files for you in the description. Now let's get started. So first thing that we wanna do is we wanna start with a frame. So I wanna select a frame and we're gonna go for the Android small because that is what the different resources are designed for. Now let's get started with just creating the uh, phone interface first. So we're going to bring in the top toolbar and we're going to align it top and left and then we're also going to bring in this different tabs pages and we're going to align it left as well and top with the right so now that both both these things are in so we're going to select them and we're going to set them fixed position while scrolling because these are uh, these are not going to be moving around when we scroll so next thing that we want is we want this one of these emails so I have this one email that I have made into a component and this has several different variants of it. So first let's just make a few duplicate copies of it. So we'll select all of the instances and we're going to turn off the favorite button for them. And we're going to leave them all at red. These are previous emails. And now we're simply just going to frame all of them. So let's just quickly frame them. Alright, once that's done, now we're going to bring in the refresh pool tab. So we're going to set it up top over here. And then we're just going to align it properly. Alright, so once that's done, we're going to set the opacity of it to zero. So here in the layers tab, you can either click zero or you can simply double press zero on your keyboard. And once that's set up, we're simply going to uh, duplicate the entire thing. So we're going to duplicate the entire frame and then we're moving to the layers tab and we're simply going to select the refresh pull tab and this frame with all the emails in it so this is not the one i'm sorry so this is the new one so we'll select the refresh tab and the frame with all the emails and we're simply just going to bring them down and we'll set the refresh tab uh, the opacity back to 100 and let's just align them properly all right now we'll make another copy of this entire frame and this time we're going to detach this instance so this is a component so we'll simply detach the instance and then we're going to select this icon refresh icon and we're simply just going to change the rotational angle of it so let's just add another 180 degrees to it and now we'll just make another copy of this and we're going to select the refresh tab and all the emails and move them up and we will select the refresh tab and we'll set the opacity to zero again. And then we're simply just going to make another duplicate copy of this. And just add one more email. We'll make another copy of this. And we'll just change it to a different instance. So let's just make it the instance 10. So this is the social media instance. And we'll select all the other emails. And we'll just move them down. 
And once that's done, we're just going to select the top one and we're just going to set it to unread. So if you can see the difference, the unread one is a little wider and the red one's a little offset. All right, so now that we have everything set up, now we just have to set up the interactions. So let's go into the prototypes tab. So on the first uh, frame over here, we're going to select this frame with all the emails. And from that frame, we're going to go into the next frame. And the interaction will be on drag. Smart anime is in, and that's all right. Okay, now on the next one, we're gonna, we want to select the entire frame. And from that entire frame, we want to have an interaction to the next frame with uh, the interaction set to after delay. So this should be automatic. So this one's after delay. So let's give it uh, around 100 milliseconds. Smart anime and this one should be ease in and out. On the next frame, we want another interaction. So we're going to select the entire frame and add an interaction to it. So we'll move from here to the next frame and this will be also after delay around 100 milliseconds should do fine and this one should be ease out and 20 milliseconds that's fine and from the fourth frame we want to move into the next frame automatically as well so this one will be after delay as well and this one should be let's give it around 400 milliseconds and this one should be ease in and I think that's about right. And only one more thing. So we're going to select the Android small uh, fourth frame. And here we have that refresh tab. So we're going to set the opacity to zero again. So we'll move into the designs tab. And we'll just set the opacity to zero. All right, done. So now let's just start from here and see our prototype. All right, so now let's try and refresh it. So you can see I can pull it down and I can also let it go. So if I let go, the action gets canceled. And if I keep pulling it down and I completely pull it, you can also see that that refresh action works and it moves up. And then we have the new social media email. So, so far so good. Now let's move into the next part. So we'll just make another duplicate copy of this one. So this time we're going to take a look at the uh, drag interaction of favoriting it. So let's see how we can favorite it. So we'll move into the assets tab and we'll have the favorites uh, tab over here. So we'll bring it on top of here and just leave it here. And we'll just make sure it aligns properly. And then what we wanna do is for the first frame, we want it out of the frame, so we'll move it left. So if you guys take a look, if I select the entire frame and turn off the clip content settings, you can see that this is still inside my frame, just not visible. So that is exactly how we want it. So let's just put it completely out of the... Next, we want to make another duplicate copy of this one. So we'll make an entire duplication. And here, so we need to make sure it's in the same frame as the emails. So for the next frame, uh, we'll move into and we'll just select the favorite slide in as well as the first email. So we'll select both of them and we're this time we're just going to move the email out of the frame. And then we'll just make another duplicate copy from here. And once again we'll select the favorite slide in and the top email and this time we're going to move them back in. And once we have it in, we're just going to turn on the favorites icon from over here. And with that being done, that's all we need to do. So we'll move into the prototypes tab and select the first frame. So we're going to select only the top email. And from that top email, we're going to drag an interaction to the right hand side frame. And this will be on drag and smart anime and ease in. So everything's fine. And from here, we want to set two different sorts of interactions. So first we have the favorite icon. So we're only going to select the icon. And from that icon, I'm going to create a on tap interaction. So this will be on tap, move to that one. And this one should be ease out. And from the cancel text, it will move back to the previous text, uh, previous frame. 
so this should be on tap on tap navigate to smart anime is out and yeah that all seems fine so let's just check this one and so we're gonna slide from left to right and you can see that this works fine and if I pull it all the way then I can either cancel or I can just pull it uh, pull it right and then click on this star icon and this adds the favorites icon so it's the same for the delete animation as well you can check out uh, on this uh, demo file so you can see that it's basically the same and you can recreate it uh, the same way so it'll only be from the right hand side that's all so I hope you guys ha learned a few things and you guys had fun learning it with me so I'll see you back uh, I'll see you guys back on the next episode and till then have fun and keep on learning